Welcome to the Autodesk Fusion What's New for May. Our development team have been hard at work adding new features and functionality to aid in your design and manufacturing and CAM programming for turning processes. These updates reflect our commitment to streamlining workflows and increasing your operational efficiency. Let's start off this release with the manufacturing workspace. This release brings a lot of value to those who do turning. With many enhancements and new features, as well as additions to geometry selection and additive with an extremely useful bonus new feature for setups. Let's take a look. To give you more flexibility and more consistent experience, we have added another improvement to threading operations on turning toolpath, which is Z-axis confinement boundaries. Previously, the confinement for a thread was on a per thread basis and was confined to the stock which resulted in trial and error to get the desired toolpath outcome. We have now aligned the turning confinement options for threading with the other turning strategies which allow you to be more purposeful as to where threading begins and ends. Additionally, a thread face selection option was also added as a confinement option to make things simpler in situations where you have multiple threads to machine. A highly requested improvement to threading operations in turning is for the ability to define the depth of the first pass and it's now available. This increases toolpath flexibility and safety. For example, when threading harder materials where a larger than desired amount of material being removed on the first pass can damage the tool. An important call out here is that post processes will need to be modified to populate the relevant Q value inside the threading cycle. All the posts on the website have been modified to add this functionality, so you will need to use the updated version for the cycle to output correctly. If you want to finish profile grooves on the face of a turn parts, it can be particularly difficult to understand the correct workflow when only given either the outside or the inside profiling option in the profile finishing strategy. To improve this workflow, we have now added the option of a face profiling mode, which creates a clearer workflow for you to ensure that the toolpath retracts correctly with the Z-axis first. Also, for turning in profile finishing, we have added the ability to machine multiple disconnected regions on the ID, OD, and the face of the part within the same toolpath using the same tool. This allows you to machine both face grooves on the part as well as features on the OD or ID of the part. Bar pull functionality has been added in this release and it's truly a big enhancement for turning. There are many reasons on a turn mill machine as to why you would want to use the sub spindle to pull the bar stock. Maybe you have a long part that needs to be machined in steps to ensure maximum rigidity and support. Or maybe you want to use the sub spindle to pull out the next part length before parting off. In the past, this could only be achieved through heavily modified amount of post-processor logic and manipulation of the sub spindle return option. You now have a designated bar pull option that enables you to define the pull distance of the part and gives the option to either compensate all subsequent toolpath or to create a new WCS entirely. This gives you more clarity through the turn mill workflow and enabling you to program quicker. Improvements to geometry selection allow you to remove redundant selections and references for more quickly and easily. For geometry selections which are no longer required, there are new options to clean up selection or clean up all missing references, which will remove empty geometry selection. For geometry selections which are still required but need rework, for example, reusing a chain selection to select a different feature, there are options to clear missing references and 
clear all missing references. For those of you who leverage the wrap toolpath functionality, we now made it substantially easier for you to make pocket selections. Prior to this release, all pockets needed to be selected individually. Of course, if you had just a couple pockets to select, this wasn't a big issue. However, if you had dozens of pockets, it tended to get rather laborious. We have now introduced the select same plane option for pocket selection. Once you enable this parameter, the toolpath will automatically select all pockets that share the same cylindrical plane with your initial selection. Have you ever wondered if your part will actually fit in the machine or wondered if it was positioned correctly so you could machine a feature without exceeding the access limit? With a new option in the setup, you now can. In the part positioning tab of the setup, there is a new button called Preview Machine. This will open machine jogging and allow you to jog the machine via drag handles or by selecting the bodies themselves. This gives you the benefit of seeing your part move in real time on the machine when you jog each axis, helping you verify that you in fact position the part optimally. The Inspect Surface Probing provides the ability to inspect geometry with a user-defined probe path. The machine generated result file typically must be imported back into Fusion for evaluation, analysis, and reporting. The new live data connection allows the machine generated results to be sent automatically to Fusion, allowing results to be evaluated and analyzed more quickly and provides additional capability to stop the machine if a problem is detected. This can also help to allow machines to run without operator attention for longer periods. Along with this release, we provided machine connectors to support Fanuc, Heidenheim, with DCOM and Siemens with RPC controls. These can be found in Fusion Post Processor Library for supported inspect and inspection post processors. A point connection net option has been added in additive as a new pattern type to bar support base plates for groups of connections. This allows you to generate base plates where every bar is connected to another bar, ensuring stability at the build plate without wasting material. When using the fill build volume command, instead of filling the entire empty build volume with selected component, users now have an option to limit the number of copies that will be created and limit which component actually gets copied. This improvement will also allow users to fill the build volume of an SLS or MJF 3D printer systematically. I'm thrilled to inform you that Fusion Electronic Design capabilities continuously improve performance and usability, exceeding expectations. In this update, we are expanding our simulation features, refining library management, and much more. Let's get started. Through our ongoing partnership with ANSYS, the Signal Integrity extension of Autodesk Fusion is continuously enhancing its capabilities. This powerful tool now offers you critical insights into impedance, resistance, inductance, capacitance, and other aspects of your critical traces. Our previous update empowers you to more precisely analyze the coupling effects between traces and nearby aggressors. We have harnessed the ANSYS MOM solver for this update to ensure consistent impedance and coupling analysis on differential pair signals. This means you can analyze and maintain optimal signal integrity in high-speed digital electronics, which is crucial for minimizing performance impacts caused by even the slightest discrepancies. Switching to the coupling mode will measure the pair's coupling coefficient against aggressive signals, a critical factor in understanding and mitigating crosstalk effects. Having the signal integrity extension powered by ANSYS as part of your design process accelerates the development of your final product, leading to enhanced outcomes and quicker market entry. In our electronic workspace, we frequently define groups of assets for efficient design replication. When working with connected assets, typically, signal names are automatically updated. However, 
With the latest version of Fusion, you now have the flexibility to either preserve the original signal name or opt for sequential signal naming. This enhancement facilitates your design process, allowing you to reuse and apply proven circuit board design elements within the same project. We have implemented more Fusion Electronic updates to enhance your design experience. Our latest improvements speed up design loading, especially for designs containing large amounts of polygon. And we also optimize handling the real-time rat's nest calculations. Loading circuit boards will also load faster into the CAM processor for a smoother and faster path to manufacturing expert. These enhancements will accelerate your workflow and bring your innovative ideas to life more efficiently. We're pleased to inform you that based on your valuable feedback, we reintroduce the show command and improve component selection with disabled top and bottom layers. Additionally, wires with flat caps are now accurately recognized by polygons for precise shape rendering. We've also enhanced session management ensuring that panel positions and sizes are correctly saved and restored. A significant change is our transition from local to library.io for Autodesk default libraries, which improves management. We also made it easier to identify our team libraries. If you've used our default libraries, updating is seamless and quite intuitive. These updates will enhance your design experience and pave the way for future advancements. By streamlining the development process, they help accelerate your product market entry and reduce the need of multiple prototypes, saving you time and resources. To start off the design space, we're introducing Ground Apparent to make your assembly workflows a whole lot smoother. It automatically grounds the component you create or add to the document fixing the age-old issue where a component wouldn't ground immediately if it was placed first. By default, the first component, whether it's under the root or another component, gets grounded to parent. And this works for all components, whether they're created new or inserted into your design. Here's a key point though. Ground to parent isn't tied to the timeline. This means even if you move components around in the timeline, they'll stay grounded to where they were first inserted. But hey, you're still in control. You can choose to ground other components to the parent or even unground them if you want, all done through the browser. And just a heads up, we've renamed the original ground to a new name, PIN. Solid Sweep is a game changer for creating complex geometries in a snap. Rather than using a sketch profile, you can now create a sweep using a solid body. You can create either a 2D or a 3D sketch to act as the path, and then select any body to sweep along the path. New features like Solid Sweep are all about empowering you to innovate faster by allowing you to create complex designs more efficiently. There is a new shell type in Fusion that introduces a robust and fast algorithm that creates rounded geometries instead of sharp edges. It is also provides partial success option when the geometry gets too complex, leaving you with surface bodies that you can manually patch. You can choose between sharp or round offsets, with the latter often bringing more successful outcomes. If a shell fails, you'll get a suggestion to try a different type. This feature aims to introduce reworking outcomes to help boost your creativity. The multi-hole patch tool lets you apply multiple patches at once to a single surface, all in one go. Not only does this save you a bunch of time, it also keeps your timeline neat and tidy. Before this, Applying multiple surface patches to the same surface would require you to have separate operations, which could create quite a bit of a timeline clutter, especially for faces with lots of hold. Each patch operation added a new timeline node, which could really slow things down. Let's talk about measuring joint origins. This handy addition makes joint origin selectable when using measure 
which can be a real asset in various assembly workflows. In essence, joint origins are now treated the same way as points were previously. You can measure from one joint origin to another or from a joint origin to any other measurable object. When measuring, you'll get the XYZ delta between two joint origins, either their component origins or the global origin. Read-only configurations, this is a game changer. Before this, consumption of read-only configuration data was blocked, which could cause issues with insert, derives, drawing creation, or get latest. But now, you can share read-only configurable data downstream or with consumption-only data sets. Think of creating configurable component libraries with centralized control. It simplifies linking data up and downstream while maintaining a single source of truth. If you make a change somewhere, it's reflected everywhere. Also, it's fully integrated with managed extensions, allowing for component filtering, creating change orders, and more. Dropping down dimension, let's take a look at Drawing's workspace. We've got three updates to walk through here. First, the Section View Full Line feature enhances your viewing options. This tool allows you to optionally create a section line that spans all points of your design, providing a more comprehensive view of your work. Next, we have the Match Dimension feature. This is a time saver for those repetitive tasks where you need to copy tolerance, precision, and alternative units from a dimension to another. With just a click on a similar dimension type, you can apply the same tolerancy. Lastly, an update to taper and slope, which is all about automating. It automatically selects the correct symbol and calculates a value when adding a taper and slope symbol to your drawings. The value can be easily adjusted using the three dot option next to the dialog. That's a wrap on the May release of Autodesk Fusion. And we are eager to see how these enhancements benefit your future projects and make you more productive. Be sure to explore our What's New blog post as well for additional insights not featured here. Until the next time, when we bring you more functionality, keep on making anything with Autodesk Fusion.